Hello everybody, um, this is just a quick tutorial showing how to use the data analysis function um, in Excel. Right. Um, again we have the data with uh, man suffixation and I just have the year here and uh, the frequency of man per thousand words and the different letters. Um, now if we go to data, you see here is empty so I haven't installed the data analysis tool yet. So what we do is we go to the Microsoft sign, we go to Excel options, then we go to add ins. Here we go say go to and we check analyse function and analyse function VBA. Press OK. And now usually it will ask you uh, do you want to install that? And this is what you basically want to do, but because I had installed it before, I'm just uh it worked just quicker, alright? So now what we have here is we have uh, the data analysis tool and I'll click on, click on that right? and what I want to use that analysis function for is to find out whether the increase of uh, man suffixation or the use of man suffix um, is statistically significant all right? which m basically means that the increase is not caused by chance just by random fluctuations but that there is a systematic increase right? So the test I will use is a uh, non-parametric t-test. It's called zwei Stichproben t-test, unterschiedliche Varianzen here. And basically only use the statistics that you have read about, right? Don't just choose any random statistics. You really have to know the statistics um, in order to, to know what you're doing, all right? So it's not just enough to do that, but read up on statistics. So I'll take that test, all right? Here I tell um, uh, the program basically that my columns have headers. Variable A here will be year, right? So um, the year the letter was written in. Go back up. My other variable will be the frequency of men suffixes per thousand words in these letters. That is all right. Um, alpha is 0 0.005, which is fine. And here I basically tell the program where it's supposed to display the results, right? So I uh, say, all right, please report the statistics there. Press OK. And now what we have is we have a summary of the statistics. So here, year, we have the mean, it's not really relevant. Here, the variance, and the same uh, for men per thousand words, right? So we have a mean value of 2.2 instances of men per thousand words, variance is 9.9. .9. There's overall 254 uh, observations. Here we have the degree of freedoms. I actually don't know right now what the same number, it should be one less. Anyway, we have the t-statistic here, which is really high, 295. It is very high because we have a one-sided hypothesis, which means we um, expect there to be an increase, right? Not just that um, there's a difference, but there's that there's an increase. So our uh, uh, hypothesis is one-sided. The critical t-value by one-sided test is 1.6. So 295 is a lot higher than 1.6, which tells us uh, right away that um, the um, uh, increase is statistically significant and we have the p-value here which is extremely low so uh, it's not even displayed in any way it's just zero right so it's a lot lower than 0 0.001 right so it's highly significant all right I'll just highlight that of course this is the relevant data basically but this is the way you can use the uh, data analysis tool in Excel to do some simple statistics. Alright, thank you very much and see you the next time. Bye.